Good morning, and I didn't know that I have to talk. <laughs> uh, very, very, it's a pleasure to welcome you all to this uh, uh, two-day workshop. I'm a mechanical engineer, so the distance between chemistry and mechanics is very far. Actually, it is not. Um, if you think of James Bond, uh, sorry, not James Bond, I said James Watt. <laughs> Hydrogen bonding took me to the bond. <laughs> so James Watt is a quintessential mechanical engineer. And when I was looking at uh, his biography once, I found out that he was also a chemist. And uh, one of the first ones to actually suspect that uh, water is a compound and not an element. And another connection between chemistry and mechanical engineering is actually a French kinematician. Uh, his, name, his name was uh, Franz Rula. He actually tried to represent machines with uh, formulae similar to chemical uh, formulae that you have. Because like you do, taking atoms or molecules put together with bonds, we also design machines with joints. Our joints are what we call kinematic pairs or like your bondings. So I can connect with this workshop and see it in that perspective. Uh, although Franz Rula's chemical formula didn't, uh, were not followed, but his contribution of kinematic pairs and thinking of our, all elements in a machine as bonds still remains today and we teach that, we learn that. And uh, it was uh, Professor Arunan who noticed the coincidence of the centen centenaries that we have our journal, 100th volume as well as uh, hydrogen bonding. He took the initiative of uh, guest editing and bringing all of you here. I wish you all a great two-day workshop and welcome once again. Thank you. I request Professor P.K. Das, who is the chairman of the Division of Chemical Sciences to your remark. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a pleasure to invite you all to two very important things that we are celebrating today and tomorrow. Now, it may appear to you that they are unrelated. The Journal of the Indian Institute of Science and the editor was just here and 100 years of hydrogen bonding. But both of those two things are very important to us. And as the day progresses, you will actually find that. And I guess uh, Professor Anand Suresh, by the sleep of his tongue, actually admitted to one important thing. And in fact, it's James Bond also actually is somehow indebted to hydrogen bonding. And the, the, the story goes that Ian Fleming actually invented the word bond like James Bond, because by that time G. N. Lewis has actually put forward the idea of bonding. So the bond he took from that, because there was a lot of discussion in those days about bond. That's why he decided to name it as James Bond. And James Bond, in the character itself, was very much conscious about hydrogen bonding. And if you have seen the James Bond movies, you will see that James Bond had a very peculiar choice of dry martinis, second not starred. If you actually have noticed that, you can go back and actually watch those movies. And apparently, Professor Richard Zare of Stanford University demonstrated that it does make a difference if you shake martini with ice or if you don't shake but stir. And what happens is the, the temperature drops to two different temperatures. And, uh, and that makes a difference in the hydrogen bonding with the alcohol in martini. And it changes the taste. So therefore, there is actually a connection between the hydrogen bonding, James Bond, and maybe James Watt, what he actually wanted to say. But what is also important that these two things that we are celebrating today have come a long way. And there are very few things that I know of that actually last 100 years. In fact, the Journal of Indian Institute of Science is little older than hydrogen bonding, or the concept of hydrogen bonding, I must say. And it started in 1914, but you can see that they are going to actually connect hydrogen bonding with the 100th volume of the Indian Institute of Science Journal. And so that's the connection that you can find. But what is more important is that the Journal of Indian Institute of Science is less controversial than hydrogen bonding. And 
in fact, this is the 100 years of hydrogen bonding. If you actually go back and check the original article published in 1920 by uh, Rodbush and Latimer, that they actually make a footnote in that article saying that actually the person who first identified a hydrogen kernel between two atoms was actually Maurice Huggins. And he was an undergraduate student. He wrote a thesis in inorganic chemistry uh, uh, on his, it's actually a term paper, but it was called thesis. And he actually mentioned this first, but that was in 1919. And this, this, all these things were happening where the concept of chemical bonding came from, that University of California at Berkeley. And they were all students. So therefore, for the backbenchers, be careful. If you have some invention that you have made, don't just keep it in the term paper. Make sure that you publish it. Otherwise, you may not get your credit. And actually, the hydrogen bonding started with that. And from time to time, the concept gets modified. It's one of the very important concepts in modern science and gets modified. And the latest modification that I know of was done by Professor Arunan, who is the organizer of this workshop, and others in 2011. And I'm sure that it will be modified again in the near future, and maybe some of you will contribute to that concept of hydrogen bonding. And since the beginning, the hydrogen bonding has been sort of shown being regular or irregular, red shifted or blue shifted, okay, symmetrical and unsymmetrical, and, and, and many other forms. But in, in all forms is a very important concept that has remained in modern science. In our chemical sciences division, I have quite a number of colleagues who actually are all the time worried about hydrogen bonding. And you will actually hear some of them today and tomorrow. And you may hear other experts from this country and abroad to talk about hydrogen bonding. Now, on behalf of the Chemical Sciences Division and on behalf of the Institute, I again extend a hearty welcome to all of you. I hope you learn more about the Journal of Indian Institute of Science and also learn more about hydrogen bonding in these two days workshop and enjoy the nice weather in Bangalore and, and mix with each other and take hydrogen bonding forward. With that hope, I thank you all for coming and again welcome you for this great celebrations. Thank you, Professor Das, for addressing the gathering. And I would like to thank Seventh Suresh for being with us here. He is also the editor of the Journal of Indians of Science. And prayer to Professor Jiki Ananta Suresh. Professor T. N. Guru Rao was the editor of the journal. I became a member of the board two, three years ago. When we were discussing the upcoming issues, I noted that the volume 100 would be published in 2020. And I told Professor Guru Rao, maybe we should bring out an issue on hydrogen bonding. But as Professor Das pointed out, it's not easy to find out when hydrogen bonding was first mentioned. Because Linus Pauling, who is probably the most influential chemist of the 20th century, considers the paper by Latimer and Rodebus as the first to mention. Though he and Latimer and Rodebus both point out about the thesis that was lost, submitted to the University of California, Berkeley by Higgins. But even before that, unlike what Professor Anthasura has told you, I would encourage all of you to read the editorial he has written for this issue. In 2012, Nature published an article, 100 Years of Hydrogen Bonding. That was because Moore and Windmill had published a paper in 1912 alluding to this concept. In 1903 itself, Werner had talked about it. But as you will see later today during the launch and maybe tomorrow during my talk, the paper by Latimer and Rodebus is extremely significant. That's why not only Linus Pauling, also Pimentel and McClellan, who wrote the first book on hydrogen bonding. The title of the book is The Hydrogen Bond. It was written by George Pimentel and McClellan. The book starts with a quote from this paper. So what is written in this paper is quite remarkable. That's why we thought it would be quite fitting to celebrate this. But as also Dr. Sanantasura has pointed out, the Journal of IASC began in 1914, because he gives the brief history and later today Professor Guru Rao will talk about the history of the journal in the evening during the launch function. 
it started in 1914 but we are celebrating the centenary now because volume 100 is now hmm? of course the centenary was already celebrated in 2014 under the leaders of professor guru rao we brought out a commemorative issue with a collection of papers and one thing important about that collection is it includes a paper by sk k jatkar and nagamani shama rao who were both from the inorganic and physical chemistry department where we are they had published a paper with the title hydrogen bonding in benzene in 1943 even today you would see people arguing about this but they had published this paper in 1943 in this journal so that's why <coughs> this celebration is quite appropriate before i invite professor samuelson to chair this session let me thank both professor guru rao and professor ansuris for enabling this i would like to thank our director professor anurag kumar who would be presiding over the function in the afternoon for the encouragement and support i would like to thank our divisional chairman for being here and all our deputy directors divisional chair gusto says still for the support and in case you did not know the faculty hall was under renovation until probably a week or 10 days ago and this is probably the first meeting we have in the faculty hall after a few months so i would like to thank all the people involved the registrar and all the support staff in the faculty hall this has been a very historic place so it's quite fitting that we conduct this conference here i would also like to thank the institute of eminence grant so our institute was generous to give us some funds not only for the release of this journal and also for organizing this workshop that was done by the institute of eminence grant specifically given to the indian institute of science and on a personal note i would like to thank the mhrd for the spark project which enabled dr nick walker who is sitting in the audience to be here during this and for that project also we are expect to organize a workshop so we are spending some money from that project in fact out of the 16 authors i will talk about this late today 11 of them are here giving talks the five others could not come they have conveyed their wishes i would stop here now i would invite professor samuelson to take over and conduct the first session thank you all